In this video, I'll be discussing various terms starting with the word perio. First, let's see what a perio test is. Perio test is a measuring instrument which is used for evaluating the osseo integration in case of dental implants. And also in case of natural tooth, it's used for diagnosis and also for evaluation of various periodontopathies, for assessment of occlusal load, tooth mobility, and also to assess the progress of treatment. It works on electromechanical principle and it has a scale ranging from minus 8 to plus 50. So the lower the value, the greater is the stability or damping effect of that particular implant or natural tooth. Now coming to the next term that is periodontometer. So periodontometer is a device which is mainly used for evaluating tooth mobility as well as to assess the pocket depth. And now coming to the next term periostat. So periostat is 20 mg doxycycline available in capsule form. It has anticollagenase activity and it's used for host modulation as an adjunct to scaling and root planing. It's given twice daily and the main function of this periostat is to reduce the collagenase activity which is elevated in GCF of periodontitis patients. Now periocline. So periocline it's a 2% minocycline formulation used in local drug delivery. So when this formulation is injected into the gingival sulcus, there is gradual release of the active ingredient over a period of time. And also there is sustainability because minocycline has a greater affinity for the tooth surface. So there is sustained release of this active ingredient resulting in localized antibiotic activity. Now coming to the next term that is periochip. So periochip is used for local drug delivery and it contains 2.5 milligrams of chlorhexidin. So this chip is biodegradable. The overall weight of this chip is 7.4 milligrams. And when it is used for local drug delivery, when we place it within the pocket or inside the pocket, there is sustained release of chlorhexidin for a period of seven days. And studies have shown that it eliminates almost 99% of uh, pathologic bacteria existing over there. And also it suppresses the formation of biofilm for up to 11 weeks. And the dimensions of this perio chip are the length and breadth is 4 into 5 mm approximately and the thickness of this perio chip is 0.25 to 0.32 mm. Now moving on to the next term that is perio paper. So this perio paper is a blotting paper which is used for measuring GCF, gingival crevicular fluid electronically. So these papers have the ability to carry a minimum of 0 to 1.2 microliter of fluid. Now moving on to periotron. Periotron is an electronic instrument again used for measuring GCF. Not just GCF but also it can measure pocket fluid, salivary flow and also the thickness of saliva. And then we have periocol paper. In order to collect larger volumes of fluid in the range of 0 to 2 microliters, periocol paper is used. And then we have perio paper holder. So as the name itself indicates, it holds a perio paper and this holder can be mounted on all periotron models. Now moving to peridex and periogard. So these are basically a chlorhexidine containing mouthwashes prescribed for oral rinses. They contain 0.1% to of chlorhexidine gluconate and the pH range is between 5 to 7. And once the patient uses it, the chlorhexidin can be detected in saliva for up to 8 hours, even after usage.
So now moving on to perio temp probe. So as the name indicates, it's used for measuring uh, pocket temperature differences as low as 0.1 degrees centigrade from a referenced subgingival temperature. So basically, we're trying to assess the disease activity by knowing the temperature differences. So this probe has two light emitting diodes. One is red, the other one is green. So if there is red light, it indicates that there is a greater chance for development of periodontal disease with greater chances of attachment loss in near future. If there is emission of green light, then it indicates that the patient is at lower risk of developing periodontitis. So this periotemp probe can be used to detect early inflammatory changes. Thus, treatment can be initiated at an early stage. Now moving on to the next term, periotrievers, also called as quads retrievers. So these are highly magnetized instruments used for retrieving a broken instrument from a periodontal pocket. For example, broken curate tip either in deep pocket or in furcation area. So these are a set of two double-ended instruments. We have a long blade and a contra-angle tip. A long blade is used in case of deep pockets and a contra-angle tip is used in case of furcation areas. Now coming to perio aid, so perio aid is a mechanical device used for holding either a toothpick or a brush at a particular angle in length. It's used for accessing interproximal areas. And then we have perio check, perio scan and perio guard. So these are chair side molecular diagnostic kits and they're mainly used for diagnosis and for evaluation of prognosis of various periodontopathies. In perio check, we evaluate neutral protease enzyme and in perio scan, we try to analyze Barna hydrolase and in perio guard, we analyze aspartate aminotransferase. Now we have another child side diagnostic kit, Perio 2000, which displays the levels of sulfides digitally. So various volatile sulfide compounds are highly damaging to periodontal structures. And these sulfide compounds are released because of action of various microbes on serum proteins. So we have serum proteins such as cysteine and methionine. So certain organisms such as Porphyromonas gingivalis, Porphyromonas intermedia and Tandrella forsythia act on these serum proteins and release various volatile sulfide compounds. And these compounds in turn destroy periodontal structures. And period 2000 is used for measuring these sulfide compounds digitally. Mm -hmm.